asked if this could be done, I just had to try it. I found out a few things, both good and bad, during this process. So let's get right into it and see if it can be done and what I found out. Here we go. Okay, folks. I'm going to try something today that was a challenge to see if my DJI Spark would follow an airplane or a helicopter around. Now, I've been experimenting with it. And uh, we tried it last night, but with the sun low, as soon as this thing got into the sky, the airplane, and the contrast, there was a, uh, it lost it. So no matter what I did. So we come out with a heavier day today, and I'm going to take and cover my white shirt up because it needs to see the contrast. Sometimes it started following me and never actually followed the machine. So you can see these down here. This is what we're going to fly. So let's give it a shot. Here we go. Okay, start recording, and we'll go ahead and take off, slide that on, windy, alright, take it up. let's go up to uh, 60 feet, let's try that the camera down at the helicopter get it spinning active track draw a box around it this is what it looks like when you draw a box around it same as when I drove the penny farthing bike Got it? Well, as you see, it lost the heli and actually began tracking the heli shadow. Finally lost that, so I had to quickly land the heli and run to the transmitter as the spark went searching and almost went out of sight. Looking at the phone really didn't help either, as I couldn't tell where it was. Tracking? I was tracking the saddle. Really? Mode. So I switched to Addy mode as it went searching over by the trees and I thought it was going to crash into the trees before I finally got a hold of it. Can't tell where the front is on this. Thing. Windy. Alright, take it up. Draw a box around it. There we go. Got it? No, lost it again.
Okay, switch to active track, draw a box around it, trace, okay, go. So now I'm going to have to hand launch this thing. Those birds are going after me. Maybe I need to be higher. Good. Okay, here we go. See, the wind's going this way. Is it following it? Okay, spark lost it, so I have to quickly land my UFO and get the spark down. I just love this airplane. go. Hey, take off. Where's it at? Oh my God. All right, I gotta say, normal mode, normal land. See if it'll come back. Go home.
can't tell which way I'm going. Says go home. Should come home. So there you go. I gave it my best try, folks. The lessons I learned is that flying into the skyline, it loses contrast and loses it. It doesn't yaw fast enough to keep it in sight, so best to stay out in front of the camera. It doesn't do good when it flies under the drone. And when it loses sight, it begins searching, which can take it really far away, so it's kind of hard to see where it's at, even when you run back and look at your phone. Well, when it gets so far away, hitting that return to home took it way up, and I didn't even see it. In fact, I was afraid I was going to lose it. And then, so switching to Addy mode and trying to fly it back is really slow, so it would have been better to switch to Sport mode for more forward speed in the wind. But then again, there's a lot going on when I had to land a heli and plane, and then jump to the spark transmitter to get a control again. I actually tried it several other times, even taking it up to 300 feet or even only at 60 feet. But it's not reliable enough to keep tracking planes unless light is just right or there's more contrast. At one point, it did a better job following the shadow of my helicopter on the ground. <laughs> so I'm really done experimenting with this tracking mode for now as it was nerve-wracking. I hope this answers your questions and maybe a slower plane or heli would be better, but even hovering under it, it finally lost it. I think I'll stick to using it for ground vehicles like my penny farthing or the robo scooters as you saw in my previous videos. Well thanks very much for watching folks and if you would be kind enough to click that subscribe button here in the bottom right corner and then click the bell, you'll be notified for new videos and believe me, you're really going to like what's coming up next. So till next time, this is Dave the Nightflyer signing off for now.